What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Gamer Day here, with another episode of the Pokemon White Tomb Randomizer's Lock. I'm getting to the point where I can actually say the series right the first time, every time, so we're getting there. You you know we're getting there, if I can say it right, first time, every time. Let's go, guys. Okay, anyway, on that note, we're going to do a quick re team recap, because your boy has not recorded this since February 24th. For reference, it is March 7th, so day of recording! Woohoo! We gotta love them day of episodes. I am usually not one that does the day of episodes, but it happened. It happened, Captain. Okay, so again, team recap, because I need it. We got Chillin' the Magmar with Thunder, Blast Burn, Searing Shot, and Fire Punch with Flame Body. We got Synchronizing Beegers, the Guard of War, are like one of our better mons that have been on the team with Camouflage, Thrash, Heal Order, and Confusion. We got Jonas, the Butterfree, with Cut, Quiver Dance, Round, and Mega Horn. We got Sog, the Frisking Brain Work. Oh my god. What Pokemon is this? Bayonet. With Curse Hex, Shadow Punch, and Astonish. And we got Michael the Huntail with Aqua Tail, Brine, Aqua Wing, and Water Pulse with Swift Swim as an ability. So that's our team at the moment in time. We're going to go ahead. We don't have much in the way of encounters. I actually don't even believe we get any except for on the Brit. Wait. Oh, it's March now! That's right! It's a new month, everybody! So, new season. And actually, in real life, it's about to be a new season. Don't forget to turn your clocks back. Actually, turn it, or move it forward, excuse me. Yay! 10 o'clock is going to be like 11 o'clock now, which is going to be great. Oh, Aaron. I wish I could get, like, Aaron to, like, say every single one of these lines so that I could just, like, say it with his voice, but, like, that's okay. Please tell me that I actually am fighting with you and not against you. I would prefer that. Cover you. Yes! We're fighting again. Or we're fighting. We're fighting not Aaron today. I was like, let's not fight the rival today. Please and thank you. Oh, this music is. Cr oh. Oh, I think this is slacking. But I forgot I didn't randomize the abilities. So, like, it's actually okay. <laughs> Uh, Slow King, that's, we haven't even had a Firewater Grass Core yet, so, uh, I don't know what to go and do, I got Thunder, but Thunder's like 60% accurate, or 70% accurate, I'm gonna go into Sog, yeah, I'm gonna go into Sog, um, Level 31, so you're, like, you're up there. I'm glad we got Chillin' in the front of the party, though, because, oh, gosh, Chillin' needs to level up. Attack order was the best thing that you had to hit me with. Somehow, I highly doubt that. That was a crit. <laughs> of course it was. I don't care, because Shadow Punch won't do anything. Weird! Like, I would never... That would that was the least of my expectations. I mean, I'm down for it, not gonna lie. And this is the double battle, I believe. Right, I'm double battling with Aaron. There's no way I'm not. No? Okay, I'm not, I guess. With the bubbit. Oh my gosh, another... Come on, can we get, like... Not a water type. While we have our fire type out, please and thank you. I would prefer to not have to worry about that kind of stuff, but I guess we do anyway. Um, you might have simple. You also might have sword stance. Oh, boy. I know I might be scaring myself into thinking that that's not the case, but like... Simple sword stance would be like, oh, that would make me like freak. Glare. Speed harshly fell. That's okay. It sucks that. 
Okay, that did nothing. I don't know how or why that did nothing, but I am not going to question it because it doing... Oh, gosh. Muddy Water 2. Bro, this barrel has got a move set. Oh, wait. We randomized... That was a crit. Really? Can we stop? That's two crits in today's episode. We've only been recording for like three minutes. In both battles, we've been crit. Can we not? Can we not get crit? I would uh, prefer that. Confusion. Muddy Water. We're fine. We're okay. We live a crit anyway, so... When John plays it smart, it makes things work better. Okay, Beegers going to take that out. As Chillin's going to get up to level 31. I'm down with Chillin being level 31. They go away, and Aaron definitely doesn't heal us. There's no way. I don't care about the purloin. <laughs> Yay! Aaron heals us, so I don't have to go all the way back to that Pokemon Center. Okay. That's like, I was, I'm so excited for that. Just, I was like, yes, Aaron heals us. The thing I needed. Um, Qualot berries? No. I don't want Qualot berries. I don't care about Qualot berries. I'm going to be fighting all the trainers on this route still. Because I want to say that not this episode, but the episode after, we'll be having to fight Clay. And Clay is not really who we want to mess with right now. So if we don't have to fight Clay, that's better. Executor. Yes. Actually, I'm on that we can fight. <laughs> Let's go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and searing shot. The fact that we were able to get thunder from the sketch i don't know who gave it to us because it's been two weeks but i know we sketched it off of something and so that was amazing that we were able to do that as uh pupitar really legit everything his chilla just can't fight anything in this episode we're trying to level it up so that you know hopefully when we get the protector uh or not the protector the magmarizer I don't know. We're probably not going to get it, but like in the hopeful event that we get the Magmarizer, then we'll be good. Excuse me. Sorry. Anybody in here? Oh, yeah. She sells, you sell like food and stuff to her. <laughs> I'll take $20 for it. Ah, ah, ah. So, yeah. So, you sell... If you sell her, like... Did I... I didn't realize that. I forgot she was in the game. Um, because... If I would have been smart... Which... I want to say I had, like, m big mushrooms and stuff like that. I could have actually give it to her but I wasn't paying enough attention so that's my own fault but wait whoa 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 <laughs> see I love when they have because they have he has different text for whatever like whatever uh season it is so that was like the I'm glad I kind of stalled because he would have been like Oh, I would like a water type Pokemon right now because it's summertime and I want to be cooled down. But because it's right in that middle, he's going to say, like, he said exactly what he said. In the wintertime, I want a fire Pokemon. In the summertime, I want a water Pokemon. Like, he just tells you what you want. Or he tells you what he wants, what he really, really wants. He just tells you what he wants, what he really, really wants. Uh, Chillin, please get a big XP boost from this. Uh, that would be great. Can we? 891. That's not a lot. I actually would have expected way more. Sometimes I feel like my expectations are really high. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you don't have a prop case. 
I'm the heartbreaker. My name's Charles. I wanted to get an attention of a girl I like, so I mastered a new style of Pokemon battling. It's called Triple Battles. You want to learn about it? And Triple Battles, you have to be stupid. And I freaking hate true bat Triple Battles, but I have to for the plot. So, great job. This I actually didn't realize how scary this battle might actually be until just now. We've got Smoochum, Larvitar, and Graveler. Okay, that's not that bad. <laughs> I like how my brain straight up went, uh oh, like, although, I would like to switch Magmar for Michael, but otherwise, I think we're good. Okay, we're switching out chillin'. He's level 30 across the board. Ugh. I'm glad I have an overleveled because this makes this so much harder. Because normally he's level 20. Graveler used to fake out on the only Pokemon I have attacking. Yay. I am so happy. Uh, well, luckily his team isn't great. Like, my team is a lot better in comparison. The only thing that is, is that Jonas could totally die right now if something bad happens. As Larvitar just is sand attacking. So basically what happens is the Pokemon in the middle can attack anything and anyone. Which is, like, it's totally fine in many instances. Um, as actually... I'm gonna have us Water Pulse the Larvitar take advantage of the confusion on the Graveler and then Mega Horn the Larvitar because... Megahorn actually might deal a decent amount of damage here. It O code. Let's go. I was not expecting an O code. And then confusion, I don't think will O code. No, but the shell bell will get us a lot of stuff back as water pulse will then kill. That battle was not as scary as it could have been. It very well could have been a thousand times harder than it was. So I am okay with the way that that went as Everybody gaining that experience. Chill is level 32. We'll take that. And we're going to get an encounter. That's how the world works. I'm a heartbreaker. I like how, like, yes, it. I, everybody's leaving now. Triple bottle completed. They're like, you made that look a thousand times easier than it should have been. And then to that, I say, of course I did. I'm John. I have to make things look easy. I'm in, I'm like a top tier PU battler, apparently, according to the Pokemon Showdown. So, Absorb Bulb. That'll help with water type stuff, but not necessarily. It'd be great if I got something that, like nullified water type attacks, but I don't. Because if I get nullified water type attacks, then I could have a, or use um, Chillin' as a counter to that, but. Ah, uh, first I gotta... Okay, so this area is annoying because it gives you all these wings and it takes you forever to get an encounter. Like, I swear. Okay, I've got Pokeballs. I've got Great Balls. So basically... Basically. As long as my encounter isn't like... As long as like encounter is not like a massive legendary or anything, we should be fine. As this will be the entire episode trying to find an encounter. Because this area does not like being encountered. You know, I might buy Yeah, I'm doing it. Well actually. I should still be able to get encounters, right? Oh. There's a battle that I didn't know about. Skipping all... Oh, that's... No, this is just... Uh, oh, no, Aaron. Aaron's like, let me fight again. Aaron's in a bit of rage today. It's almost like he lost a Pokemon in Cage Lock. Oh, wait. It did happen. <sighs> but, anyway. I, got, I just gotta do that, Aaron. I'm sorry. Like, I have to. I'm not, you know... 
Mr. Mime is annoying, and I get it. I get Mr. Mime being annoying, 100%. Like, do do do. Time to buy stuff. Because I don't even have a team of six yet. I think that's the funny thing. Is my brain is like, oh, I don't have Pokemon on the PC. It's like, yeah, you do. It's just you don't want to use them because they're all like, meh, other than Walrein, but you already have a water type. And you already know that it'll be a good replacement for something later down the road. Because we all know John's going to lose something else. And if John doesn't lose something else, then it'll be a, a very big anomaly. Because we only have two deaths. And that's kind of weird. Other than, you know, the Sharon ordeal. Having only two deaths is... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, whoa, 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 where is it? Right there. A silk scarf. You know what? I, I will take that. I will take that for sure. Aha, that's where it is. Swiftwing, dang it. Come on. I want an encounter. There we are. Ooh, a Vaporeon. I will take that. That's my favorite evolution. Not. No lie, Vaporeon, my favorite evolution of all time. That will never change. Love you, Vaporeon. Now, present. Okay, I don't really like the fact that you have present, but I'll live with it. Fire Puju! Lock on Guillotine! That would, that would be scary. If I just see Guillotine out of nowhere, I'm going to be like, well, I called it and I shouldn't have said anything. But I don't think it's going to have Guillotine. I think we're going to be fine. One. Two. Three. Let's go! <laughs> now, I don't want to add... Uh, I'm getting more encounters. I don't want to add... Vaporeon is not officially on the team. I know it'll be in the party, but we will evaluate the party after we get all of our encounters. So we still got a lot. But I am going to name this Vaporeon. Crap. I don't know what to name it. I'm going to name it... Rainer. Because that's what you have to name it in Pokemon Go. In order for it to be a Vaporeon. So that's what we're naming it. Random fact of the day. You can only do that once per account, but if we want random facts for them, that is it. And actually, we have a randomized moveset, so let's go ahead and check the moveset. See what we got. As present bubble, lock on, and crab hammer with a timid nature, which I am actually fine with the timid nature because, oh, I am fine with the timid nature. Like, I can take a timid nature. No problem. As. Yeah, it looks like. That's right, because there's only one encounter on this. So it's like. I believe that there's only one encounter on this normally. Boom! Bye bye, Vaporeon. Oh, geez, it would have lived on one. Oh, thanks for the heal! Heals are nice. This Vaporeon went. You landed a thunder. You deserve it. It's okay. I'm like, oh, thanks. Thanks. Uh, anyway, let's get the rest of our encounters before this gets even more cringy. Um, like I said, we got one, two, two encounters that I can think of. We can actually get Driftdale City encounter. I think I have a rod. I should. Like, if I don't have a rod at this point of the game, then what am I playing? Um, oh, ooh, ooh, there's an item. Ah. You really not gonna let me go in there? Nope. Oh, well, oopsies. I, for, I just went, like, my, okay, I get 100% just zoned out. The, like, I zoned out, completely forgot that I actually am doing story stuff right now <laughs> on top of this. So I went right here for no apparent reason. 
and it's story. Oops. But hey, Adino, that's experience for days. That we take Adinos. Searing shot's gonna hurt, but we will take it. Dang, Adino took that like a champ. Retaliate's gonna hurt us. Oh, oh wait, it's burned. I guess that makes sense. I was like, why did that do nothing? Ad Adino is nice because it's very, it's bulky as all can be, but. Ah, was this a generation where Burn did like 12%? Burn does way more damage in this generation than it does now. Uh, Adino gives me 3,505 experience. Wait, what? That was a lot. And Mantike. And as much as I would love to thunder a Mantike, I feel like I'm not going to actually hit the thunder. So we're going to go ahead and go into Sog. Ha make Big Sog do the thing that he does best. Because it's only a man hike. And we're going to go ahead and Shadow Punch the Fang into Oblivion. Hope It won't die. There's no way. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, that's going to hurt. It shouldn't kill, but I know it's going to hurt. And then Shadow Punch will kill him. As that was a Sage. So, like, he was actually a, one of the more important trainers. Oh, wait, doesn't he give me a gift? Doesn't he give me the Zorua? Dang it! That's a gift Pokemon! <sighs> I'm like... Random things that John remembers from way back when. It's like, doesn't he give you the Zorua? And it's, a, it's not actually a Zorua, so I'm actually super excited to see what it is. It will not, it should not be a legendary. That is the part that I do know. Is that if, well, it should not be a legendary. It should be something like, uh, it should be, because I randomized it legendary to legendary, normal to normal. So we should be getting... I mean, it could be like Lucario or Pupitar or something like that. It could be something good, but it also could be like Weedle. John received Zorua. It's not actually Zorua. Unless it is, and I'll be very surprised. It is, in fact, a Zorua. It's got Flatter, Present, Heal, Ball, Soft Boiled. No attacking moves besides present. What is present doing on all these Pokemon? That's not okay. Zoro is not a bad Pokemon, though. It's just, I don't know how it evolves. So, I don't want to, like, take the time to, like, have it end up not actually being very beneficial to me at all. As we're going to get our encounter on Route 6, it is... That's a gross Pokemon I don't actually want to catch. But, I mean, it's part poison. So, if we want to think of the positives, it's poison. Sky drop. Weird moves to them. Great, would we not? Ah, never mind. It would not be nice. I mean, I didn't want to catch it anyway, so... It really didn't matter, but we're going to pretend like it did. Um, cause why not? Um, see, I would love to have a Zoroark on the team. Honestly, that'd be like a ghost, dark, and fairy, or ghost, dark, and psychic. But I, like I said, don't know what it evolves. But again, it's got no good moves at all. When does Zoroa evolve into Zoroark? Garden. Zoroa is a dark type Pokemon introduced in Generation V. It evolves into Zoroark starting at level 30. Awesome. So actually, we could have a Zoroark if we wanted it. Ba 
Oh, we can't go this way. Oh, sh shoot. Okay. Well. <laughs> so, remember when I said we were going to get more encounters? Uh, that's a lie, apparently. And I believe that he's not in the... Why? My head says he's not at the gym yet. Because... I feel like we have to do something before that happens. But, if I can find the gym and where the gym would be located, then I can confirm or deny that. Aha! So yeah, so Clay is in the gym. Okay, so the next episode, because I'm, I'm sure this episode has been like 20 minutes. Yep, 25 minutes. For the next episode, we will be fighting Clay. But in the meantime, I am going to be going to Jonas's stay-up episode. Peace.